Today, boys and girls, you're going to be doing multiple meaning words. These are words that are spelled the same, sound the same, but can have more than one meaning. We've done these before when we looked in the dictionary um, in our workbook. There was a dictionary piece that we looked at, and it gave one or two or three meanings for a word, and we had to choose the correct meaning. So this is very similar today. The words we're looking at are ones like fly and fly. One can be the bug that flies around our room and sometimes bothers us. The other can be fly, like I'm going to fly an airplane. Then we have scale, like a scale you step on or a scale you weigh your groceries on. And scale like a fish is covered with tiny scales. We have ring, like when a phone rings, that sound. Okay, like ring. And we have a ring like the one you wear on your finger. There's also a word ring like draw a ring around the correct answer. That circle is also called a ring. We have bat like the flying bat and a bat like a baseball bat. There's also a verb bat. Like when you open and close your eyes very quickly you can say she bats her eyelashes. That's the movement that you make when you open and close your eyes very quickly. There's palm, like the palm of your hand, and palm, like a palm tree. There's chest, like a chest with gold and silver in it. And there's chest, like the front of your body is your chest. We have wave, like wave to all your friends as they go by. And we have wave, like the wave that you see in the ocean. Ruler, like the ruler we measure with, and a king or a queen can be a ruler. That means they make the laws and the rules for a society. Those are some examples of multi-meaning words. You're actually going to be working on page 168. On that page, they give you a dictionary page. So they give you the words fly, line, and upset. And they're telling us that a fly can be a small insect with wings or to move through the air like a bird or an insect or, in this case, in a plane. The second word they give you is a line, which is a number of people or things in a row. Like we all stood in line at the grocery store. And the other one they give you is a line being a piece of string or wire. So the electrician ran an electric line from my lamp to the wall. Or I use a fishing line when I go fishing. It's a plastic piece of string that goes in my fishing pole. The third one they give you is upset. Upset can mean that you're unhappy, like she was so upset when she heard the news that the dog had gotten hurt. Or it can mean to move something, like to tip it over. Like be careful when you move your plate or you might upset your juice glass. That means you might bump it and it'll spill or tip over. You're going to take those words on page 168. They want you to read the sentence and tell which definition they're talking about. So number one says, Ed used a worm and bait on his fishing line. You have to decide if he's talking about a number of people or things in a row, or if he's talking about a string or wire. Okay, so each one of those, you're gonna read the sentence and decide which definition they are using to um, represent the word that's underlined. Okay, if you have any trouble with that, please contact me and let me know. You can bring this to our meeting and we'll look over it together. Have a great day, guys.